through you, Mr. Chairman, again, um, in prior years, we had cap bank under the 2010 resolution as we did under the 77. The amount that is authorized under the 77, the excess is not anticipated in this budget. If we needed to, we could have utilized the cap bank from the 2010, but we don't need that. And we had cap bank from prior years that we did not include. So no, there's not the necessary maximum at this point in time. Thank you. S1, which wasn't complete. I'm looking at it here, and maybe the tax levy cap in the budget just is missing something. But I guess I could pin it down to just this one question. If you wanted to raise taxes as high as you possibly could, what would that number be? That is, using the entire cap bank, what would be the maximum amount raised by taxation? You would think it'd be in here, but it's not. It just utilizes cap bank from last two years without saying what you could utilize. So that was my basic question. You know, if you wanted to go above the 335-283 number that's in this budget, what could you go up to? That's it. Through you, Mr. Chair. Without adding prior year cap banks, just the levy maximum allowed under the 2010 cap for the 2015 budget, we were allowed to go up an additional $1.55 million. Under the 1977 cap, just the calendar year 2015, we were allowed to go an additional $4.6 million. So we are below both caps, the maximum allowed under both. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to comment on resolutions? My apologies, Chair. Just to also advise members of the public as well as the board, the state does not require that we provide the maximum because point in fact we have to provide them our entire levy cap book and that's what they review and they test and that's what they approve. From a publication standpoint, we only put in the cap that we are subject to and what our levy, the levy that we are actually raising. Thank you. 